Hi, I'm Sharon Perrin, the owner of Beads and More, located in Woodbury, Connecticut. And let's start beading. As you enter a bead shop, you may be a bit overwhelmed by what you find because the materials are all so small. You'll see a lot of beads, you'll find stringy material made out of many different materials, wire, silk, nylon. You'll find tools and storage containers and bead mats and all sorts of things. I'm going to show you around my bead store and give you a little overview. Over here, you'll find all the beads. I've arranged my shop by the color wheel because I feel that most people do want to make a piece of jewelry of a certain color. Color wheels help you designing jewelry, whether you use all one color for your piece or colors in a certain hue or that are complementary across on the wheel. It was Johannes Itten in the early 60s who came up with color theory and he really proved by doing some scientific studies that this array of colors was very pleasing to the eye. As you can see, I have gemstones, pearls, glass, crystal, all together by their color. Over here you'll see the rest of the beads organized by color. Beads have been around from the beginning of mankind, really since Homo sapiens, 200 to 250,000 years ago. There's evidence that since the beginning of mankind, man has been adorning himself with beads. At first, they were made out of seeds and nuts and shells, anything that had a hole in it that they could string. Even today, the kukui nut is still very popular and worn. It comes from Hawaii, but it's still quite in fashion. Shells, pearls. The word bee derives from the Anglo-Saxon word bidden, which means to pray. Monks were the first to wear strands of beads around their waist in order to help them count their prayers. Most religions today, about two-thirds of all religions, use some form of prayer beads. In addition to the many beads that you'll see in a bead shop, bead shops will also carry findings. What are findings? Findings are the hardware that holds your handmade jewelry together. Here you'll find head pins, eye pins, and all sorts of earring components. Let's take a look at some other findings, some clasps on the other side here. There are all types of clasps. Toggles, lobster clasps, some specialties. They're in sterling silver, gold filled, 14 karat. There's even magnetic clasps. Very strong magnet used as a closure. As you can see, that was a very easy on and easy off. Here are some spacer beads made out of all different materials, sterling, gold filled. They're different sizes and shapes which really are used in most pieces to separate beads and make them st your beads stand out a little bit more. And over here you'll, you may even find watches and some charms and alphabet beads. There are many different types of stringing material. Here you see beading wire. There's also memory wire, elastic, some nylon cord. And over here you'll see some more stringing material. There's stringing material in silk, nylon, cotton, some satin, and hemp. Just like wire comes in all different diameters and use, it's used for different applications. And you'll also find an assortment of tools. A bead shop will also carry reference material, books and magazines. This book here, The Basics of Bead Stringing, 
goes over what we're covering today, how to string beads and finish them off. It's a nice reference book to have, and it is also the number one selling bead stringing book on the market today.